The Jeltiksen Kazakh, Zeltoksen Kateralizi Jeltiksen Kateralizi or December of 1986 were riots that took place in Alma Ata, present-day Almaty, Kazakhstan, in response to General Secretary Mikhail Gorbachev's dismissal of Dinmakamed Kunev, the first secretary of the Communist Party of Kazakhstan and an ethnic Kazakh, and his appointment of Gennady Kolbin, an outsider from the Russian SFSR. Some sources cite Kolbin's ethnicity as Russian, others as Chuvash. The events lasted from 16 December until 19 December 1986. The protests began in the morning of 17 December, as a student demonstration attracted thousands of participants as they marched through Brezhnev Square, present -day Republic Square across to the CPK Central Committee building. As the result, internal troops and Oman forces entered the city, violence erupted throughout the city. In the following days, protests spread to Shimkent, Taldekorgan, and Karaganda. Protests The primary reason for the peaceful student demonstrations that started in the early morning of 17 December was the dismissal of the long-serving first secretary of the Communist Party of Kazakhstan, Dinmakamed Kunev on 16 December and the appointment of Gennady Kolbin as the first secretary. Kolbin was unpopular as he had not previously lived or worked in Kazakhstan. According to Gorbachev's memoir, after the 27th Party Congress of December 1986, he met with Kunev and discussed Kunev's resignation. Kunev expressed his desire to retire and proposed the appointment of someone without previous links to the Kazakh Communist Party in his place to stop advancement of Nursultan Nazarbayev later and also the current president of Kazakhstan in the party ranks. Kunev, in his own book, said that Gorbachev never asked him about his replacement and only said, "'A good comrade will be' sent." Demonstrations started in the morning of 17 December 1986 as 200–300 students gathered in front of the Central Committee building on Brezhnev Square to protest the decision of the CPSU to appoint Kolbin rather than an ethnic Kazakh. The number of protesters increased to 1,000 to 5,000 as students from universities and institutes joined the crowd on Brezhnev Square. TASS reported, A group of students, incited by nationalistic elements, last evening and today took to the streets of Alma Ata expressing disapproval of the decisions of the recent plenary meeting. Hooligans, parasites and other antisocial persons made use of this situation and resorted to unlawful actions against representatives of law and order. They set fire to a food store and to private cars and insulted townspeople. Meetings were held at factories, schools, and other institutions to condemn these actions. Witnesses reported that the rioters were given vodka, narcotics, and leaflets, indicating that the riots were not spontaneous. They disagreed with the characterization of the riot as related to nationalism or independence. They said it was a protest over Gorbachev's appointing an outsider to head the state. As a response, the CPK Central Committee ordered troops from the Ministry of Internal Affairs, Druzhiniki, volunteers, cadets, policemen, and the KGB to cordon the square and videotape the participants. The situation escalated around 5 p.m. as troops were ordered to disperse the protesters. Clashes between the security forces and the demonstrators continued throughout the night in the square and in different parts of Almaty. The second day, protests turned into civil unrest as clashes in the streets, universities and dormitories between troops, volunteers, and militia units, and Kazakh students turned into a wide-scale armed confrontation. The clashes were not controlled until the third day. The Almaty events were followed by smaller protests and demonstrations in Shimkent, Pavlodar, Karaganda and Taldikorgan. <inaudible> Estimates of protesters Estimates of the number of protesters vary. Initial reports from Moscow said that about 200 people were involved in the riots. Later reports from the Kazakh SSR authorities estimated that the riots drew 3,000 people. Other estimates are of at least 30,000 to 40,000 protesters, with 5,000 arrested and jailed, and an unknown number of casualties. Jeltiksen leaders say over 60,000 Kazakhs participated in the protests nationwide. In Karaganda, 54 students were excluded from the universities, and five students were prosecuted. Loss of life 
According to the Kazakh SSR government, there were two deaths during the riots, including a volunteer police worker and a student. Both of them had died from blows to the head. About 100 others were detained and several others were sentenced to terms in labor camps. Sources cited by the U.S. Library of Congress claim that at least 200 people died or were summarily executed soon after. Some accounts estimate casualties at more than 1,000. The writer Mukhtar Shakhanov claimed that a KGB officer testified that 168 protesters were killed. The Jeltiksen events formed the basis of the main platforms of the Azat and Alash political parties and the Jeltiksen movement that developed in independent Kazakhstan. Kazakh students Kairat Riskulbekov and Lazit Asanova were among the victims. <laughs> Separation from the USSR In the March 1991 referendum, the population of Kazakhstan overwhelmingly voted to preserve the Soviet system. 89.2% of the population participated in the vote, of which 94.1% voted in favor. After the aborted coup d'etat in August, the Soviet government in Kazakhstan declared independence on 16 December 1991 as the last republic to declare independence. The Soviet Union itself disintegrated ten days later, on 18 September 2006. The Dawn of Liberty Monument, dedicated to the 20th anniversary of Jeltiksen, was opened with a solemn ceremony in Almaty. In the 21st century, Jeltiksen has come to be regarded as the symbol of Kazakhstan's struggle for independence. The monument has three parts, two pylons of intricate shapes symbolizing the breach and conflict of past and future, the explosion of the nation's consciousness and downfall of ideological canons, and the triumph of liberty and independence of the state. Dinmakamed Kunev died in 1993 at the age of 82. An avenue and an institute in Almaty were named after him, as well as an avenue in the city center of Astana, designated as the capital in 1997. See also Dissolution of the Soviet Union Black January January events 9 April tragedy Zarmahan Tuyak Bay Tulip Revolution References External links Let my people print The Price of Stability. Kazakhstani control mechanisms in a bipolar cultural and demographic situation.